Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a game in 10 minutes. So recently I made a video where I made a game in 30 minutes, and apparently I guess I created like waves in the Roblox development community, okay? Because basically, someone else made a game in 20 minutes to beat me, and then someone else made a game in 15 minutes to beat me. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to do it in 10 minutes I guess now, but as you can see, this is the 15 minute guy, okay, let's see what he has to say on this one. Help! Everybody. Oh, okay, um, but it basically he likes my video, he says he did it to beat me or whatever. Even in the description right here, he said, So, Def King, if you're reading this, I challenge you to make a game in 10 minutes, alright? So, <laughs> I basically have to do it, okay? Because this guy made a video on it too, actually. So, I made a game in one day, and then the Dev King made a game in 30 minutes. You trying to one-up me? You trying to one-up me? Alright. Dude, okay, okay, I honestly, I didn't even see this guy's video, but I mean, you know, I guess that's cool. He made a game in like 20 minutes, basically, it was just like some, like, I don't know, kind of weird simulator thing. But, I have an idea for a game. I'm really excited to make it and I'm gonna do it in literally just 10 minutes okay and so basically it, it's gonna be kind of bad I know all right I'm not gonna do any optimization at all I'm not gonna think at all I'm just gonna go straight to programming so basically I want to make like a zombie like wave defense game okay I know it's gonna be kind of weird and you might be thinking how, I make, how am I gonna make that in 10 minutes but I have an idea it shouldn't be too hard I don't think the map's gonna be completely awful but you know what it's whatever but yeah all right so we're gonna go ahead and start in a second here be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more Roblox development related videos just like this one okay i upload pretty often so anyways we're gonna go ahead and start the chat timer right now here we go guys 10 minutes on the clock okay <laughs> yo i'm actually nervous for some reason okay so we have 10 minutes on the clock here we go in three two one let's go all right so first things first i want to get the grass okay i i want to change this at least so we'll do uh grass make it green okay this is gonna be our, our pretty much our map okay but we need to get coding right away all right so first things first i need a gun okay i'm not going to use any scripts from the toolbox at all i'm just gonna take the model though because i'm not going to actually build a model because like literally that would take you know ages i'm just gonna take the gun that's it i'm gonna leave all the scripts right now as you can see all the scripts are gone i'm not using any of these scripts okay i just want the gun all right that's it all right now i need to actually make a bullet for my gun because i'm gonna make like a zombie you know shooter game so we need to do this actually quick oh my gosh we have no time i need I, oh my gosh okay um there's a bullet pretty small okay 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 we need to hurry oh my gosh why am i i'm scared first things first we need to create a script inside of the gun okay okay so we need to add a script in here inside the gun and what we're gonna do here is basically obviously you know get the bullet uh from the store so let's do that real quick okay time is going fast man <laughs> oh my gosh okay um local tools equal script on parents uh local bullet speed is equal to 200 right we want bullet speed we want um bullet damage and then we want like a fire rate all right then we're gonna basically add a little debounce here local screen is a little false and then tool dot activated right we want to make sure it's clicked okay i'm actually going so fast right here dude holy crap okay so then we got the debounce right there so now wait why is that not working uh okay we need to get the look vector from the mouse but we can't get it from the from the server script so we need to actually create a remote function real quick so let's create a remote function i'm not even gonna name this thing dude. i'm literally just gonna freaking put it in there okay then we gotta get the bullet of course okay so we got that done basically what this does right is it gets the all the variables and then it gets some quick values right here and then it checks to see if it was clicked if it's clicked and it's shooting then you don't do anything else right you don't want to run it again so then what we do is we check to see uh you know what the look vector is and i'm going to code that right now then we get the bullet we clone it and then we put it in there and then also we need to set the velocity i forgot to do that so we'll do new bullet dot velocity is equal to mouse hit look vector times bullet speed Okay, we need to hurry. Oh my gosh, I need to go faster. All right, local script. So in the local script, all we do basically is we get uh, replicated storage. All we're doing right here is returning the look vector because uh, we need that to see where we want to actually shoot the bullet to, right? All right, that's pretty much that. So the gun actually should work right now. I can't time to test it though. All right, we need the zombie. We need the zombie. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I need to hurry up. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to use obviously any scripts. Like I said, I'm trying to use the model. So let me go ahead and find a quick zombie right here. Yeah, that should work. Okay, let me delete all the scripts out of that. All right, then we need to put a script inside the zombie, which basically spawns them in, right? Okay, I'm also going to make a folder in here called zombie so we can put them in there all right then basically we're gonna go ahead and spawn it in so we're gonna need our character okay we need to make a hitbox for the zombie real quick what am i doing what am i doing hot hitbox 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 then we need to weld this hitbox too oh no okay we got the hitbox done there we go that's good all right we need to hurry this up though for real okay and then if the bullet hits it we want to make sure that it takes damage obviously if the health is less than zero then we're going to um destroy the zombie obviously but i want to actually add the amount in a global variable so let me do that real quick okay so basically it just adds like uh to the amount of dead zombies that way we know when they actually like spawn them in again you know what i mean we're gonna need that for later all right now we need one more script i'm pretty sure and that will be like a main little framework let's put that there actually let's move the zombie inside of server storage and then service script service oh my gosh do we have two minutes left oh my gosh okay so all we're gonna do here is basically define that dead zombies variable uh which would be zero and then we're gonna obviously gotta get server storage and then we're gonna create a new zombie to so start it off 
off, right? And then we got to set that zombie's primary part C frame. Okay, I need to set a primary part for that. Okay, okay, that should work. Then let me make a primary part real quick. So I got to make sure I set that. 59 seconds. Oh my gosh, we should go fast. We should go fast. While wait one, do if. And we're going to check to see if there are any zombies left, right? Because we're going we're gonna to keep looping through to see if there's any zombies. So then if the table is empty, then we're going to do four I in dead zombies. Uh, We're going to spawn one in. Okay, and then we just clone this right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, and then we want to actually know we don't want them to spawn in the same spot. That'll be too easy. So what we'll do is we'll create a little new C frame. Okay, we have 10 seconds left. Okay, we're out of time, but it's fine. I'm running, I'm running my last line of code. I'm running my last line of code right here. So all I'm doing is this, this, and then we're gonna just do a little random, and then math that random one out of a hundred. Okay, that's it. That's all needed. All right, we're done. We're done coding with 10 seconds left. I finished. Okay, it was my last line. That's fine. All right. So basically, I don't want to explain it at all because it might be kind of confusing but uh <laughs> this script right here is basically the script oh no 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 that wouldn't be bad okay this script right here is basically the script that um creates the bullet right this one gets like the um the little way it's looking right you need to find out where it's looking so that that's what this script does and then this script uh, actually codes the mechanics for the zombie so they take damage and also so they move around oh wait i didn't code the moving did i okay wait it's one line one line right here okay this is literally all added okay three lines of code i promise i'm not cheating okay it's three lines of code all right please i had 10 minutes okay <laughs> cover some slack okay all right so i'm pretty sure that's it so this one basically moves the zombie around and also makes it so it takes damage and then also so it can do damage to you and then this one basically the framework that actually like spawns in zombies after they after the round ends or whatever all right now i know i don't know if this works i had literally 10 minutes okay so don't judge if it doesn't okay <laughs> um i'm gonna go ahead and test it out right now hopefully it does here we go boys moment of truth okay let's go ahead and hit play no, okay, okay, that's, that's a simple syntax error. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, okay, all I did was delete, delete one prime to see. That's not, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so maybe it'll work now. Here we go. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no errors, it seems like. Oh, no. Okay, okay, it was one of the lot of code I accidentally messed up. I accidentally got the humanoid root part instead of the uh, humanoid. So I'm pretty sure it should work now. Here we go, please. Oh my gosh, so many syntax errors. Okay, okay, I literally put an extra uh, uh, equal sign on accident. Okay, now it should work. Come on, please. Okay, I'm in the game. My gun, it doesn't even shoot. What is this? Okay, it's other, it was a typo. All these typos, dude. Look, see, it's a typo. It's named zombie. Why is that zo the humanoid named zombie in this? Hold up. Okay, now I fixed it. Okay, I swear I, I haven't been doing it for long. It's like one minute, okay? Please. Okay, okay. <gasps> it works! Okay, okay, we well, accidentally died really quick. But let me go ahead and spawn over here. And, okay, hit play. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, let me try shooting it. Hey, it works! It works! Let's go! Um. Oh, okay, they actually spawned in too. Okay, look, I'm killing the zombies right now. Okay, my my gun it's really bad i know like it, the bullets literally pause in the air for a second but who cares it works and wait why did this go from two to four zombies you know who cares but as you can see i'm literally killing zombies right now it actually works and they can kill me too as you guys saw in a second oh my gosh there's a lot of zombies um the only thing is it is kind of easy though because the zombies like spawn and then like it's kind of like in like the call of Duty zombies they go in like a train right so it makes it kind of easy so what i'm gonna do instead is actually up the movement speed just a little bit all i have to do to do that is just go to the um server storage right here go to the humanoid change the walk speed we're gonna do that to like 20 okay just so it's a little bit more than us that way it's a little bit harder but now i'm pretty sure it should be well pretty well balanced and i think it'll be fun but here we go um oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> yo chill chill Okay, but as you can see, the zombies are a little bit faster, and now they actually spawn in, and they can come get me before I, you know, if I, if I can't run forever. Like, right now, if I run, the, like, the longer I run, the closer it'll get to me. And actually, wait, why is it getting, like, jittery like that? It's kind of weird. I'm not sure why it freezes. Oh, probably because the move to position is, like, set like that for every second. But, you know what? Who cares? It's still kind of hard. I'm gonna go for a few rounds and then come back. Oh my gosh! Okay, as you can see, <laughs> it does get pretty hard over time, okay? I actually might die right here. Um, if the zombies weren't so laggy and they didn't stop in five seconds, I probably would be dead right now but um as you can see oh my gosh oh my gosh okay I, i'm gonna change the um like the the move to to like probably like one second but let me keep killing them come on oh no 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 okay but as you can see i did just die and that's the game oh my gosh it's getting laggy all right but yeah that's my zombie defense game i know the map is awful um but you know what who cares i, I still did a good job in my opinion kind of ish maybe let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i think it was pretty cool i think i did a decent job i kind of used let me say i'll say i say i used 12 minutes okay but i, I did 10 but like 12 minutes for the bug fixes you know what i mean so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like always be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more roblox development related videos just like this one use code tap when you buy robux helps me out a lot all right anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace